Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, there is a hot topic in the science and technology community, that is, the EUV light source developed by Harbin Institute of Technology. EUV light source, which sounds very high-end, is actually a special bulb in the lithography machine, which can emit extreme ultraviolet light and is crucial to chip manufacturing. Without it, the chips in the mobile phones and computers people use now cannot be produced. The Discharge Plasma Extreme Ultraviolet Light Source developed by Harbin Institute of Technology this time provides this special bulb for EUV lithography machines. It is said that the focal power of this light source can reach 43 watts. Although it is still far behind the 250 to 500 watt power of the latest two generations of EUV light sources of ASML, the Dutch lithography machine giant, it is already quite close to the EUV light source planned by Russia. Moreover, this light source can process 20 to 30 wafers per hour, and the efficiency is also quite impressive. So how did Harbin Institute of Technology implement this plan? They used electric pulse excitation and also integrated nuclear fusion magnetic confinement technology. Nuclear fusion is the principle of the sun's light and heat. This technology is very powerful and can achieve high power and low cost. However, the size of this device is a bit large, and its practical application may be subject to some restrictions, requiring a larger workshop to accommodate it. In contrast, ASML's light source equipment is much smaller. This is because they have added laser excitation technology, which also comes from controlled nuclear fusion, but is an inertial confinement technology. Interestingly, the paper on this technology was published by Chinese scientist Wang Tuchang and his collaborators when he was studying in the Soviet Union. It seems that science and technology are really borderless, and Chinese scientists have also made important contributions to the world. In addition to Harbin Institute of Technology's EUV light source, China is also exploring several other light source technologies. For example, the laser fiber light source can reach a power of 200 k watts, which is a very amazing number. There is also an accelerator technology light source called SSMB, which is larger in size, but also has great power. These light source technologies are all providing strong support for the development of China's domestic lithography machines. Speaking of lithography machines, we have to mention Huawei's concept of large lithography devices. Huawei as a Chinese technology giant, also has its own unique ideas in lithography machines. They proposed that multiple low-power EUV lithography machines, such as six, could be used to achieve a yield of 125 wafers per hour. Moreover, through the secondary exposure technology, seven nanometer chip manufacturing can be achieved. However, there is a problem that needs attention. That is, China's domestically produced photoresist is currently only 7 nanometers. If more exposures are added, the effect may not be very obvious. Photoresist is like the glue in chip manufacturing, which can fix the circuit pattern on the chip. If the photoresist is not accurate enough, the performance of the chip will be affected. Therefore, while people pursue the power and efficiency of lithography machines, they cannot ignore the research and development of photoresist. So, which lithography machine did Huawei use? This question is actually quite difficult to answer. 
Because Huawei's lithography large-scale equipment production line, the equipment is integrated by itself. This means that Huawei may have used equipment and technology from multiple suppliers to create a lithography machine suitable for itself. This approach is quite smart, because it can better meet its own needs and reduce dependence on external suppliers to a certain extent. What impact does the EUV light source developed by Harbin Institute of Technology have on people? Although the direct impact may not be particularly large, because the chips in the mobile phones and computers that people usually use are finished products that have been produced and packaged. However, in the long run, this matter is still somewhat related to people. If China's lithography technology can be developed, the production capacity of chips will be improved and the price of chips may be reduced. In this way, people may spend less money when buying electronic products, such as mobile phones and computers. Moreover, the development of lithography technology is also related to China's scientific and technological strength and international competitiveness. Now the global scientific and technological competition is becoming more and more fierce. Whoever masters advanced technology will have an advantage in the competition. The EUV light source developed by Harbin Institute of Technology is an important breakthrough in China's lithography technology. Although there is still a gap with the international leading level, we have to see that this is already a great progress. Scientific and technological research and development is a long-term process that requires continuous accumulation and innovation. We believe that as long as Chinese researchers and entrepreneurs continue to work hard and strive, China's lithography technology will become more and more powerful and more advanced. Finally, we have to talk about international cooperation. Both the EUV light source of Harbin Institute of Technology and the light source technology of ASML are closely related to international scientific research cooperation. This shows that science and technology are borderless. Only by strengthening international cooperation and exchanges can we better promote the progress and development of science and technology. We hope that there will be more international cooperation opportunities and exchange platforms in the future, so that Chinese researchers and entrepreneurs can better learn international advanced experience and technology, and make greater contributions to China's scientific and technological progress and industrial development.